Hello guys and very welcome to another video from Flying Tools and I know that some of you guys has asked me questions about this temp sensor uh, because when you run a Solux inverter like I do on a standalone battery you need to have a temp sensor hooked up to it. So some of you guys wonder to which pin it's hooked up to and also which resistance this temp sensor has at a given temperature. So I will try to find that out for you guys today and uh, there is also a lot of questions about the firmware if I can share that firmware to you guys but sadly I cannot do that you have to take that with your Solux installer or seller however I will disconnect my uh, temp sensor here and uh, measuring it up here we go guys first I have to uh, Turn off my um, inverter. Just long press the enter button here. And then do you want to shut down the device? Yes, I want to do that. Okay, now it's turned off. Now we safely can disconnect the temp sensor. And the temp sensor are connected to the BMS port underneath here. So I'm, I know it's a little bit hard to see because we have this stupid light up there, but let's see if I can yeah, bring some shadow to it. Here, there you can see BMS and there is the connection. Normally for the BMS, but now I have the temp sensor in here. So let's disconnect that. Just like so. And as you can see, we only have two cables hooked up to it. So it should be pretty easy to do this measuring. Let's do it. 76.1 kilo ohms. And we have a temperature here at around 16 degrees at the moment. And now I just will hook up this to my system again. So I can go back to battery power. And you should see the alarm light there will soon go out, I hope. Yeah, there we have it. It's up and running again. But now I just have to turn on the system. So I will just give it a long press here. Do you want to switch on the device? Yes, I would like to do that like so and now it will start its countdown and precharge everything so it safely can start up again so now it's up and running again is it raining or what Yeah, it's raining pretty heavy. Yeah, it's good to be down in the basement when it is this kind of weather outside. However, everything should be up and running again. All right, guys. I mean, uh, no. Okay, guys, that will be pretty every... <clears throat> All right, guys, that will be everything for this video. And uh, yeah, 76.2 kilo ohms if you have that kind of a resi resistor laying around you probably just can hook that up to those pins and uh, try if this works if the inverter starts up and uh, starts to take power from your battery and after that of course order a real uh, uh, NTC resistor that will work with this unit I hope you find this uh, video helpful and uh, as always, have a fantastic day, don't forget to subscribe, give me a thumbs up, then I see you later. Bye!